SCP Roleplay offers a variety of fun, scary, and interesting SCPs, and today, we are going to be making an SCP tier list. The way I'll be ranking them are based on my experience, how the SCP looks, and how interesting the SCP is. Also, huge shout out to the SCP Roleplay Wiki, I used a bunch of their sources for this video. But let's start off with our first SCP, which is SCP-1025. If you guys don't know what this SCP is, it's an encyclopedia of the common diseases, and upon reading the book, you might get one of the diseases. And these diseases can include stuff such as lung disease, asthma, dementia, increased hearing, and a zombie virus. And here's me experiencing some of the SCP. We are here, at this SCP. Let's just go inside. Okay, let's do this thing. Huh? Oh my goodness. SCP-00 infection, the zombie virus. I guess we'll just go outside here, try to maybe like infect players. Unless we can actually go to the Deconstructor. Let's try to go to that. Yum. Oh, apparently I've seen this guy's face. Let me try to, uh... Dude, can you please chill out? I'm trying to go to the Deconstructor. <gasps> oh, dude, I was just right there. I have to be honest, my experience with playing with this SCP was okay. The only thing I do like about this SCP is, like, the zombie virus disease. And I would say the SCP is kind of interesting. Like, you can read the book, you can read the diseases, next thing you know you get the disease, and then um, you probably die. I'd probably put it like maybe on the B tier, or maybe the C tier. I'll just keep it on the C tier for now. Alright, so the next SCP we have is SCP-2950. And this SCP is a save class SCP, and it's pretty much a standard metal folding chair. But that's what you think, this SCP is capable of doing some other stuff, and I'll show you what I mean. Apparently this is just like a chair SCP. Surely nothing's gonna happen to us. And again, we're just gonna do like a solo test, right? It's just a normal chair question mark. What is that noise? Oh, my whole entire screen's like turning gray or something. It's like I'm colorblind. Wait, what? <gasps> Apparently I just died like that. I, I actually never seen that happen before in my life. As you can see, it was just like a regular chair. However, you can actually turn over here to this red guy. One thing I want to mention as well is the audio with like the heart beating stuff. I think that's kind of scary. But yeah, if I had to rate this SCP in like this tier list, I think I'm just going to give this SCP the B tier. So now we're on to SCP-131. SCP-131 is a safe class orange and yellow SCP. Which by the way, RIP to the blue SCP-131, which is right here. This SCP is pretty cute. It's pretty much like a common house cat. Looks like this SCP is currently roaming, because like, uh, they're allowed to roam freely. So yeah, let's try to find these SCPs. Looks like one of them's right there. I'm gonna try to get this SCP-131 to follow me, right? So the unique thing about SCP-131 is that it doesn't really blink, it just like stares at you and stuff, as you can see. So for that reason, I'm gonna try to make this guy look at SCP-173, right? Okay, so yes, come here SCP-131, come inside this room. Yes, please come here, there we go. There we go, look, he's gonna stare at the SCP. Okay, this is what I want. This is what I want. This guy's gonna look this guy now. Let me just move on to the next SCP. My experience playing the SCPs were pretty normal. As far as how the SCP looks and sounds, I'd say it looks pretty, uh, looks kind of freaky, right? I might as well just put it in the A tier for now. Just for now. I'm not really gonna put it, like, permanently, based off the SCP-173 containment. And our next SCP we have is SCP-999. I mean, let's be real. Everyone knows what this SCP is. It's literally the most cutest thing ever. And also, dude, one thing that I want to mention that I didn't really know. This thing speeds up health regeneration by 250, which kind of makes sense. It's supposed to, like, heal you, or, like, kind of heal you, I, I guess. Yeah, the most you can do with this SCP is, I guess, just uh, stare at it, and it'll just stare back at you. It also leaves some sort of, like, yellow trail here, probably, like, some slime or, like, some, some stuff. I mean, besides this SCP looking really, really cute, I guess that's like the only thing to this guy. But that's A-OK, -okay, because I love you, SCP-999. And also, I just got killed by Chaos Uncertainty. Cool. I mean, let's be real. My experience playing with this SCP was just uh, staring at the SCP. Like, I don't think there's really much to this SCP alongside SCP-131 besides, like, looking at it and doing some stuff. Yeah, you know what? Straight to the S tier. I don't care what anyone says. SCP-999 is an S tier SCP. So the next SCP we have is SCP-096. I'll say this is one of your more classic SCPs, like the shy guy. Everyone knows about this guy. You don't want to get caught looking at this guy's face, or else you might get your face, uh, your face chomped off or something. I don't know. Also, keep in mind, I will be going rogue, but don't worry. I'm not going to try to, like, go outside or anything like that. That's SCP-096 right there. He's just, uh, he's just chilling for now. But yeah, let's look at the SCP's face, and then we'll see what the SCP does to you. 
It appears that this SCP is actually standing up, guys. The SCP is standing up. Also, as this guy is raging, he kind of like uh, goes side to side, right? Um, now he's in the floor. Okay, and he killed me. Got it. My experience playing with this SCP was actually kind of fun. And how the SCP looks. I think the SCP looks really cool. It's very accurate to like the, uh, the actual SCP-096. I think I'm going to place SCP-096 also in the S tier. This SCP is really fun to test with. Okay, SCP-409. If I had to be honest, I feel like this is the most annoying SCP ever. And I'll literally show you guys why, like right now. But yeah, let's try to make our way to SCP-049. There's some chaos uncertainties up there, but you know what? Who cares? Yummy. Oh. We might as well just do a quick review on SCP-409. Yeah, this SCP-409 is kind of like SCP-008. I have these like, crystals like, growing from my body, as you can see. Guys, on god, this SCP is so annoying and so like, it's so bad to deal with. And the level when you die, you just explode into like so many crystals there. So okay, that was SCP-409. I'll say this SCP is pretty interesting, especially with the dialogues. Like, you know, I don't feel well, I should get a checkup. And also how you have like some crystals blowing from you. But yeah, for now, let me just put this guy in the B tier, bro. I don't like him. Alright, so our next SCP is SCP-049. This SCP is a plague doctor. He's here to cure you, even though he's probably gonna bonk you in the head or something like that. And of all the SCPs, I think I do like SCP-049 a lot. And also this SCP is pretty unique. He can actually talk to this SCP. I'm gonna try to get inside this SCP, right? And try to like, uh, do stuff to him. It's a profession I'll be considered something. Um, this guy's moving. I can't see what he's saying. And dude, I told Verat, this is one of the SCPs you can actually like interact with, right? Like, I feel like this SCP is really good for like role playing, especially if like you're trying to like role play. That kind of made no sense, but uh, yeah. My experience playing with this SCP is pretty positive. I love how you can talk to him. The SCP also looks really cool. I think this is the most lo cool looking SCP in the entire game. Like, look at that thing. I'm putting this SCP also in the S tier. I like this SCP a lot. Also, I'm totally not biased or anything like that. Okay, SCP-457. Keep in mind this SCP is both a Euclid and a potential Keter or Keter class SCP. And also a unique thing about this SCP, just like the last one, has its own dialogue. And okay, here's where the fun begins, or here's where the role playing begins. So let me try to talk to this SCP here, right? Who are you? Oh my god, he actually said 457 in his voice. Guys, we can hear this guy's voice in the game. How about this? What do you want? What about this question? Do you want to escape? Question mark. Yeah, do you like water? Oh, he says no. But yeah, I think we're just going to end this session here with this SCP-457. Let me just rank this guy like right now. I think this SCP is kind of annoying when he's kind of out there. As far as the SCP looks, he actually looks pretty cool because like he's like a burning man or something like that. Like, he's literally a burning man. And is this SCP interesting? I would say so. And with that being said, let me put this SCP also in the S tier. I might drop him to the A tier here or something. But for now, I think it's an S tier SCP. Alright, so our next SCP is SCP-008. I think this is like your more classic SCP when it comes to like getting infected versus like SCP-409. This SCP is actually kind of interesting because he can get infected and like try to infect other players. We're gonna touch this SCP, get infected by it, right? There we go. Touch other players to infect, but we're not trying to infect other players. What we're trying to do is go to the SCP-008 Deconstructor, and then obviously try to get cured by uh, this thing here. I am losing some HP though, but that's fine, because like I am getting, uh, I am getting cured. Hold up. And here we go, we are now cured. That's actually so awesome. As far as my experience goes with this SCP, I kind of find it annoying just a little bit. But yeah, how do you put this SCP in a list? I'll just put the SCP in the A tier for now. And alrighty, SCP-966. And the thing about this SCP is that this guy's actually invisible to like most lighting, besides like its containment and like night vision goggles. And also this SCP is pretty annoying, like I'm not even gonna lie, he actually do get uh, he feels strangely tired when this guy like touches you or something. And alrighty boys, SCP-966. You can kind of see this guy's outline, but mainly because he's in his containment, right? We're gonna touch the SCP and we should get like very slow or something like that. Yeah, I don't think this SCP serves too much purpose besides just being annoying to deal with. You know, like a shadow or like a ghost thingy. I don't, I don't even know what this thing is. From my experience playing with this SCP, I find him pretty annoying to like deal with, especially since he's kind of invisible. 
And let me just drop in the stage here. I really don't like this SCP. So the next SCP we have is SCP-066. I think this guy is pretty much some sort of like brain SCP that just follows you and makes a lot of loud, unnecessary noises and stuff. But I think that's pretty much it about the SCP. Yeah, so this is SCP-066. I'm pretty sure this SCP is supposed to like ear blast you or something like that eventually. Like, dude, isn't this SCP supposed to like ear blast you? I don't, I don't know. Maybe he's friendly with me. Okay, now it's loud, bro. Dude, I don't know what's up with that SCP. It, it was like silent, now it was loud. From my experience playing with this SCP, I think it's okay. I mean, obviously, like it ear blasts you. But yeah, if I had to rate this SCP, it's just gonna go into B tier. Probably above like this thing right over here. I think this is a pretty fair rating. And okay, SCP-023. This guy is like a doggo, pretty much. You really have to be careful with this SCP, because if you make eye contact with this guy, he's probably gonna do something to you. And alrighty boys, SCP-023. But yeah, this SCP is actually a pretty good boy. He actually, uh, he's pretty well behaved if you, uh, if you behave with him or you don't look at him. As you can see, if I look at this guy, yep, I just made eye contact with him. But once you look at this guy's eyes, I don't think he actually attacks you or does anything like that. I think I'm gonna die really soon, actually. Yeah, that's it. My fate was sealed. From my experience playing with this SCP, I think this doggo is just like, you know, he's just a doggo. Really? And as far as the SCP look, I actually like the look a lot. But yeah, if I had to rate this SCP, I'd probably put it in the B tier, maybe at the end of A tier here. I'll just stick it right there. And alrighty boys, SCP-1299. And I don't think not many people test on this SCP, because like it's pretty much just like a tub, you touch it and uh, something happens to you. Like let me just show you what I mean like right now. Guys, if you really think about it, there are bathrooms in SCP Roleplay, but there's no bathtub, right? Let's turn on one of the faucets right over here. And as you can see, this thing actually does fill up. Let me go cinematic mode. Which, by the way, you're supposed to be a Class D doing this thing because you are a disposable human being. But, uh, um, my guy's just floating right now with the very surprised face. And also some, like, drowning noises and some squeals. Yeah, and that's it. As far as my experience goes, there's really not much to it. You just turn on one of the faucets, then you like drown or something, you get submerged in the water, and then you die. You do see the SCP-1299 though, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna put it above like these things though, because I'd rather like test on this than, like these guys here. Okay boys, SCP-002. If I have to be honest, I actually like this SCP, especially like the world that it has where like when you go inside here, you can actually like, you can actually just explore the inside world this guy has, it's dimension, right? And let me just show you guys what I mean. And okay, let's just go inside this SCP, right? And a very unique thing about this SCP is that it kind of has its own dimension or its own world you can kind of go inside of and like, explore. And also keep in mind, this SCP can be breached out, which does have some SCP-002 entities coming at you. And those SCP-002 entities are also somewhere here. Oh, that's an SCP right there. Yeah, that light right there, you see that? Nah, bro. Nah! I'm out of here. But yeah, the world that this SCP has is pretty cool. You can kind of just inspect the area. There's a lot of role-playing possibilities. There might be some secrets you can find, but I highly doubt it. It's probably just, uh, probably just here. Okay, let's jump. Oh, never mind, we broke our feet. Oh, never mind, we're gonna fall to our death. Okay, cool. So yeah, that was SCP-002. And as far as my experience goes with this SCP, I think this SCP is pretty fun. And that being said, I think I'm gonna move this SCP all the way up to the S tier. I think here is right good for now. Let me keep you right there. SCP-173, also known as the Sculpture or Peanut. Let's be real. I don't really need that much to introduction to this SCP. Everybody knows who this guy is. Let's just all go inside here, try to test on this guy. But yeah, I love how like this SCP kind of looks different. But yeah, um, this SCP can still snap your neck, so just be careful about that. Which which I wasn't careful, so he snapped my neck. Okay, cool. Bruh. From my experience with playing this SCP, I swear, this guy always snaps my neck. Even if everyone's looking at his face, everyone just like seems to die to this person. And as far as how the SCP looks, I really like how it doesn't look like the regular peanuts, but it has its own like unique look from like SCP roleplay, right? Let's go ahead and rank this SCP in the S tier as well. I think I'll just stick this guy like right, uh, right over here for now. Okay, SCP-079. Another one of your Euclid class SCPs, the old AI. This SCP is pretty much just a computer you can ask questions to and uh, 
Like, I think that's about it. Yes, yeah, so let me just say uh, hello to this guy. Oh, and he actually says hello back. What do you want? Oh, he says, why would I tell you? Because I'm a scientist, right? Or why does the guy sound like that? Is this even hogging? I thought that guy did. Let me ask this guy this question out of the class D. What do you want? I'm pretty sure what this guy means is being like a chaos insurgency. I didn't like try to bruise this guy out or something like that. Um, he's an Xbox right now. My experience playing with SCP is pretty, uh, pretty okay. And if I have to be honest, I don't really know too much about this SCP, especially with all his dialogue and stuff. But I love how I can actually have a lot of like uh, interaction with this guy. It's really unique. If I had to rate this SCP, I would go up in the A tier, probably above these guys here. Yeah, let me just rank it like right there. And alrighty boys, SCP-087. If I have to be honest, this SCP is just way too scary for me. Like, I, I don't know, I think I just get scared by this guy. Also, apparently at 4 200, this guy will be coming. I, I don't even know if that's true or not. That, looks, that actually looks freaky. But anyways, the pretty unique thing about this SCP, if you walk inside, right? You're gonna put into first person mode only, which is actually kind of scary because like um, you're gonna see some stuff. Later. Are you kidding me right now? A nuke is happening as I'm in here. Also, wait, I think I just saw it or something. I don't know. We should see this SCP pretty soon. Yep, that's him right there. But it's okay though. Just don't look directly into the SCP. You could give him that one side eye right there. But yeah, that's pretty much like the SCP. He kind of just like, you know, chills, like stares at you. Just don't, just don't stare at him back or else he's going to jump at you. Also, I like how we're doing a nuke as we're in here. That's actually hilarious. What up? In my experience, playing with this guy is very scary. I actually hate this SCP just because it kind of jump scares you, right? I'm just going to put this guy as another A tier SCP. Probably above like uh, this guy here. You know what's S tier? I probably put this guy like right here or something. Yeah, I'll just leave you right there. This SCP-001, I really like the events a lot. My experience playing with it is nice. The I find it interesting. Some other stuff. Yeah, A tier you go. And dude, SCP-093, dude, I actually like this SCP. They, they should actually put it in the game. You know what I'm saying? But how does it rate this SCP? I'm just gonna put him in the A tier as well. You know what? S tier. I like this SCP. And guys, if I have to be honest, I don't think I'm gonna do too many changes to this thing. I think I'm just gonna keep it like this. This thing can stay like that. This thing can stay like this. Uh, this guy's very annoying. I'll put you there. Yeah, I think this is it, guys. This is our SCP tier list. There we go. This is the official non-biased, non-anything tier list when it comes to SCPs and SCP roleplay. Like, if you guys disagree with this, you're stupid, you're wrong. But yeah, this is pretty much the list, guys. This is everything we have. And now all we have to do is rank SCP-035, SCP-106, and SCP-939. Which haven't been added to the game just yet, so uh, never mind.